now we're done. Yeah, you cuties. Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Mac and Tosh. They are my two greyhounds, and they are such sweet pups. Today, they're actually going to put on four different t-shirts made specifically for greyhounds, and this is made by a brand called Houndy, and they are out of, actually out of Australia, but luckily you can get them shipped to the United States. So uh, the reason I actually got four different shirts is actually because I realized um, Tosh had a couple cuts on her that needed to be stitched up, and you need to cover them while they're healing. And so I realized that these shirts are perfect for covering those as well as being super cute. But that's why I actually have four different styles so that if I have an issue with one of my greyhounds, this is her butt by the way, um, I'm sorry that that is the view you see. <laughs> but uh, the reason I have four different styles is if they have a cut on some part of their body, I'll have a shirt ready to go that um, can cover that. So, um, and I can also put them in them if they're cold, but I live in Florida and it really doesn't get cold here. And they, the cold that it does get here, they love that. They love when it's any kind of cold. So um, I don't really need to put them in shirts, but uh, I wanted to kind of have you see what they look like in the different shirts. And, um, and I'll put a link to all the different ones um, that, uh, that I have. So let's put some shirts on some greyhounds. Okay, so let's start with uh, the very first shirt that I put Tosh and actually when she had a cut was this one. So they have different styles. This one doesn't have um, a neck on it, uh, but it does have two long arms. So let's go ahead and put this on Tosh. Now I'm not the best at this. Uh, it could, I could be probably way faster at this. Um, but now I'm going to bring her head down through the hole here. And then I'm gonna pull this up. And there we go. We're in our first Houndy. There we go. And so you can see it actually does a pretty nice coverage of um, her leg area and her whole whole, whole back, back area and a little bit of the butt area. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on Mac. This one doesn't have legs on it. All right, so you can see Mac looks super cute. So this one actually has designs by um, a an artist that um, they, um, they partnered with, I actually follow her on Instagram, I'll put her handle right here, but she makes really cute Greyhound artwork. And so when I saw they made a how out of that, I really wanted it and it was sold out for a long time and I like finally was able to get one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and I'm gonna give her a treat down here to get the neck part off. There we go. And there, it's easy to take them off that way. Um, so these are actually both all of the ones I have are medium, so my dogs actually fit, they both fit the medium size for Greyhound. Uh, but there's a little chart online that shows you what size to get for your dog. All right, so let's try something else on Mac because she is very willing because she likes treats. So Mac has not had a cut where I've had to use these, but, uh, but it's nice to have these in case I need to put them in them. And um, for pictures, they're super cute. All right, good. so now I'm gonna get her head through this neck part and so i'm going to put the treat down here come here good girl good girl all right so here she is in the one with the neck and can we put it over your ears too <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh could that be any cuter so you can see this one's a good one if you have a neck something on on the neck that needs to be covered so tosh had a cut on the um the side that this covered really well now they do cost a little bit more to get shipped to the United States, um, but it's totally worth it. Like I said, because they're from Australia. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go. And it's really easy to get to take them off, especially because they have such long necks. They just bring them down there and there you're good. Cute girl, cute girl. Oh yeah, you a cute girl. All right, so this one is actually called Jammies, and I have not actually put this on the dogs yet. Um, I recently got this one um, in case they had like a cut in the back, they could, um, this would cover up their back legs. So this will be um, the first time for me trying this. And where is Waldo? Where is Waldo? There we go. Let's get the neck. Let's get the neck. There we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Perfect. There. We got your jammies on. 
All right, we did it. <laughs> so I got the shirts on in all different configurations. So with Mac, uh, she's a little bit more particular with being touched and moving things around. So I didn't feel comfortable putting her back legs in the jammies. So uh, if I had to, like if there was a reason I had to get her in, in this particular shirt, I probably could. Um, but for the video, I didn't want to push it. But it was pretty easy to put Tosh in it actually. Um, you know, start with the front legs, then the head, and then the back legs, and that went in perfectly. She had a cut recently around this area, so this would have covered that perfect. Um, I had to make, my mom actually made this uh, funny little skirt to cover the stitches um, that worked really well, but uh, this would have worked even better. So that's why I'm glad to have all these different types of hound tees for my greyhounds, because they're made specifically for greyhounds, and they they just make them look so cute, and they're functional in the sense that uh, if there's a cut, it keeps them from licking. So, all right, these pups did so well. Oh, did so well. Sit. Dower dog. Good girls. Good girls. 